So I had to move a hive uh, from about 30 yards over there and I walk over there. I needed to move this hive because where it was going or where it has been, uh, I'm actually gonna let it grow up and go back to natural uh, woods. So I need to move this over. So last night, after it got dark, made sure everybody was in, I closed it up, put the strap on it, and uh, my son and I moved it over here to the new location. So this is this afternoon, about three o'clock the next day. I did put a couple of sticks in front of it. Uh, they say that is to help let the bees uh, realize that something's different and that they need to reorient or recalculate where they're gonna go. So I've got, uh, it seems to be doing fairly well right here. There, there are a lot of them flying around trying to figure out their new location. But I'm gonna walk right over here to the old location, show you what's going on over there. And I did expect this as well. Hold on just a minute. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and video walking distance. So it's, uh, it's just right over here. And of course, when I come out here, I've got some stragglers that are back here. Uh, I haven't figured it out. It looks like a handful over here. This is the old location. Uh, there's a few. They're still, you know, confused. And I, I may have done it the wrong way, but we'll see. I'm going to watch this a day or two. I'll come back here later on tonight, make sure they're not piled up right there. And if they are, then I'll gently move them back over to the new place. Uh, I'll watch this for a day or two. And, make sure I hadn't made a, a royal disaster, but I had always read that you can, you can move them, you know, a few distance, a small distance, uh, and just, just put a couple of sticks over the entrance like I did to see how it turned out. This is, this is not enough bees over here flying to, for me to be too concerned about. I do feel bad for them, but I'll check back later this afternoon and see if they've settled down somewhere. And if they had, I'll try to get them over to, if they have, I'll try to get them over to their, to their new location. But I'm going to, watch this for a uh, day or two and, and and see what comes of it and I'll let you know basically it's just straight from there about 30 yards over there it's funny I stand over here and they fly really close to me they're really confused and they're needing some kind of guidance or something but they they're not aggressive they're just they're curious they were programmed they've been programmed for a couple of years to come right here but now I need them over there like I said, we're gonna. It's the first time I've ever made one just a small distance. We'll see how it turns out. All right, so it's later in the afternoon, it's about 20 minutes till dark. I have walked back here, I have no bees on the outside, so hopefully that means they've all made their way in. I'm gonna quickly walk over to the old spot, make sure there's no stragglers there. Like I said, it's about 30 yards. Maybe I know how to speed this up when I get on the computer. So you don't have to watch me There are no bees flying here. There are no bees hanging out anywhere on it. Don't see any in the ground. Uh, so I would say, uh, in my opinion, that's a, a moving success story. So uh, hopefully that shows that you can move a hive just a small distance in your yard as long as you do it at the right times of the day you know when it's dark when they're already in and then the next day put a few sticks in front of them just to kind of let them realize that hey something's different and we need to recalculate we need to re uh i guess calculate the word or reorient reorient where we are so it looks like i'm good now if i come out here tomorrow and there's a pile of bees here then i'll i'll come back and update my video but as of right now i think it is fairly easy to move a hive just a short distance as long as you do it correctly uh, i appreciate you watching hope it helps somebody happy beekeeping